Welcome to the final stage of the Trust House New Zealand Cycle Classic. Almost 700 kilometres of racing by the end of today's stage. Today's stage is 120 kilometres. It's 12 laps of a 10k circuit. On paper, that doesn't look very hard, but with the general classification still really tight, 10 riders within 57 seconds of the Tour Leader's yellow jersey. This could be one of the hardest and most decisive stages of the Tour. After yesterday. Yeah, um, I knew from the start of the stage you just had to get that, that one polka dot um, points at the start and then it was pretty much set up uh, for the Tour so made sure of that pretty early on and then it kind of gave me the opportunity to just rest and kind of sit in and uh, left me pretty uh, well for later in the stage when um, we hit the climb so I could kind of lead our GC guys up the climb so worked out pretty well. Good start to a big season for you? Yeah, first year U23 so first race here so I mean it's a it's a good good kind of start for the year. Leaves me in good motivation I think so yeah. And you'll be going over to race in Europe right? Yeah so I head over at the end of February, um, go back over to Holland and Belgium for the start of the season, might head over to France and Italy for towards the end of the season and yeah see how it goes. Alright so sprint stage today is one you're looking forward to? Yeah um, me and Gady hoping to get up for it um, but I think there's going to be a lot going on before that so you know the stage could pan out anyway we um, took the jersey here a couple years ago so we'll see if we can do the same. Oh, and you're looking forward to the rest of your season of Black Spoke? Yeah. New year, yeah. Nah, it should. Um, like the team's awesome, and going overseas with uh, with a bunch of Kiwi lads is going to make everything a lot easier. So, um, yeah, the staff are amazing. The equipment's really good, and all the boys are really cool. So, hopefully, it's um, we create a good environment, and yeah, we get some good results. Time you've really left your mark. Yeah, 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 this year comes in better form, like being nationals for Australian nationals in um, January as well, just before this, so the goal was that, and then yeah, obviously some residual form left over, and yeah, gave, gave it my best shot here, and it's worked out pretty well. Yeah, a pretty bold move going something like 40 kilometres out. Yeah, yeah, well, I mean, like, originally we had our, you know, our short things, is um, Tuvi and, and Case Deason, but... Yeah, I mean, took the opportunity and then, yeah, ended up working out pretty well. So, yeah, I think either way we had cards to play, which is just a, a really good position to be in. So. And your hopes for today? Hopefully hold on to it. Yeah, it's going to be, I think it's going to be a solid one, but yeah, you know, you give it everything and hopefully walk away with the yellow by the end of the tour. Three seconds, three, two, one, neutralize. Right, so we have no commentary from Dell today, so it's Tom here, the owner of this channel. So I'm going to be um, talking about the race and stage five of the New Zealand Cycle Classic. So early on to the stage, there was a break of about five riders. You can see Logan Griffin in there, and then the break only got out to about 30 seconds at this stage of the race. And then the peloton obviously chasing hard with a few of the sprinters just sitting back, just waiting for the end of the race. There you go, there's Logan Griffin going around the corner with a few guys and the yellow jersey um, up ahead of the peloton. We have Bailey O'Donnell, Corbin Strong and Campbell Stewart on the front for the New Zealand national team trying to bring back this break early on in the race. This is a 12 lap course of about 10 kilometers. There's a false flat circuit and they've just come around the chicane at the top. This is about a kilometer and then they head left down this and then back onto the home straight back into Marston past um, Marta 10, which is the sponsor for today's stage. Coming into the sixth lap now, 57 kilometers in, and Team Sapura's Marcus Cooley has a minute on the peloton. He has gone solo. There's been a few solo attacks trying to bridge over to him, but at this stage, no one has been able to get over, and his, um, his lead is extended out to one minute and 18 seconds.
next group has gone up the road, including the tour leader and then previous tour leaders, Aaron Gate and Hayden McCormick, to try and chase him down. Coming into the second uh, of the sprint premiums, Marcus Cooley takes first. Dylan Kennett just gets over Jensen Plowright for second, and he's really extending his lead into taking back the um, sprint green jersey. Now three laps to go and Marcus Cooley is still at the front and James Oram has ridden over to him solo. He's been the only person that's been able to get over to him the entire race. The Peloton is still chasing hard. The gap is less than a minute now coming into the last two laps before the sprint finish. And he might be trapped in a little bit. Now he's trying to force his way through. But he's not having much luck at the moment. The Campbell's show is fresh to his front and so is up. Here's Clara coming in. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we did. It was um, a really well fought race. I mean, good to give it to Black Spoke. Okay? tried everything and I was just very, very, very lucky to have, um, yeah, boys from Bridge Lane just basically just lay themselves in line for me. It was, yeah, there were a couple of points there where we were under, under a fair bit of stress, but yeah, we pulled through just and got it done. So, yeah. And uh, two years ago, Hayden McCormick took it on the last stage here. Was that weighing on your mind? I, I didn't even know, like, I'm relatively new to uh, this kind of level of riding, so I was not sure of names. I was aware of the numbers who were really good and who was up on GC and who to follow, but... Um, definitely have heard his name, he's a bit of a hitter, so yeah, I mean, it's just a pretty stressful day, but again, just I can't thank the boys enough, like, they just, yeah, really, really, really put themselves on the line, and I'm very, very grateful to have that. And what's the next event for you? Uh, to Lankawi, so I think it's in about two weeks, get home, a bit of rest, and then, yeah, get ready to go again, so, yeah. Uh, under 23 jersey and a few strong finishes there. A good tour for you. Yeah, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how it's gone. The national team's just ridden, ridden out of their skin this week, and um, you know it's the first time for a lot of us riding together. And everyone was happy to chip in and do their part for the team. For the team, and it's yeah, really, really fun week with the boys. Oh, and this is going to set you up for the rest of your year. Yeah, yeah, got a pretty exciting year coming up. Just uh, found out I'm off to the Track Worlds in Berlin and. A month or so, so yeah, that's the that's the next target. So we'll head back to Cambridge after this and get stuck into it. At the stage, riding for the St George Continental Cycling Team, Dylan Kenner. <laughs> It's a wrap on the 33rd New Zealand Cycle Classic. How does this one rank compared to the other ones? Well, I run this race uh, the best ever. Uh, it's been an amazing number of uh, international teams coming to Masterton uh, and Guadarapa. Uh, bringing the race back to Guadarapa, it's been the best thing that we could do. You know, uh, here, like I said before, I can trust people I work with, honest, decent people, and they know exactly what to do. Uh, my race officials, the motorcycle marshals, and I sponsor. So, really happy with the outcome. We got a good winner and we were a large number of spectators, especially on the last day. And can you tell us how much work goes into creating an event like this? Well, we basically start working about a month after this race finish. Uh, we report uh, to the sponsor, making sure they are happy. Uh, then we start doing the race route. Then we talk to local authorities for the traffic management, uh, contacting the teams. It takes nearly 11 months to, to organize the race uh, to where it is today.